We're one minute away from the start of tonight's contest. JWP senior Michael Roy will sing our national anthem. We'll direct our camera to the flag and we'll hide the, uh, the title card and we'll direct the attention to Michael Roy. What a great job by Michael Roy, a very accomplished senior from Janesville Waldorf Pemberton. Back when I worked at Mankato East, Michael Roy was at Mankato East when he was an eighth grader, and he was the Geography B winner. So certainly Michael Roy, a well-rounded individual, very accomplished. One thing that is always the case with United South Central, no matter what age you play them, no matter what year it is, they are tall. They always, I mean, if you look at this roster, nearly every player on the roster is five foot seven or taller. And just looking at their bench, they, I mean, everyone's tall. I wouldn't be surprised one bit if Lauren Aulis is receiving some interest from some colleges. We'll have to see how she does tonight. Eighteen on the clock. Traditionally, we've had some difficulties with the clock. We'll see how it goes. I'll try it to the best of my abilities, and if it gets annoying, I can always just hit hide clock. Well, that'll be interesting to see how, how the Bulldogs contain Alice because Morton is having, a, in my opinion, the most improved player on this Bulldogs club. Not a lot of starting experience up until this season, and Alice, of course, has started for many, many years now. We'll see how it goes, but in addition to Alice, as I've mentioned, they have 
They only have two players out of about 14 listed at less than five foot seven. So if that's any indication. Everybody in their starting lineup is listed at five foot seven or taller. And here we are, we're set. Rebels with possession. That's over to, to Robertson. Robertson back out. Klocek. Legrid thought about it, gets it down to Robertson. Robertson fakes, back to Legrid. Legrid for two. It's off. Nice rebound underneath. Put right back in for Kessler. And the Rebels strike first. 2 0 is our score. To Anderson. Try to force it to Wolf. That's a throw. Thought about it. Passed it up. It's off. Rebound Robertson. The Rebels with the early lead. Oh, I thought that might have been out of bounds, but Olsen steals it. It's a two on two down to Wolf. Wolf up for two. Rims out. I think that's her third rebound already for Robertson. When Robertson was an eighth grader, I used to ump the uh, softball games, JWP versus USC. And as an eighth grader, Robertson hit two home out of the park home runs in a game. It was very impressive. So not just a basketball star, but a softball star as well. Wolf takes it away, and that's Olsen coming down with it. Over to Anderson, to Hagen. He can't go in, and Aulis gets the rebound. And we're one minute, 30 seconds into this contest. 2-0, Rebels to Robertson. To Klocek, Klocek, Anderson providing the defense there. Jump ball. And possession arrow favors the Bulldogs. Hagen to inbound, gets it into Olsen. Out to Hagen, Hagen thought about it. Inside drive, nope, to Wolf. Wolf couldn't handle the pass, and they're gonna set it up. That's Anderson at the top, oh, that's a travel. Jumped, I don't know if she was thinking of a jump pass, but when she, she landed on her feet, and when you go up, you know the old saying, what goes up must come down, but when you come down, you better not have the ball, and unfortunately for Anderson, she did. Robertson inbounds to Klocek, and the Rebels will take it. Tight defense by the Bulldogs. Tried to force it that time, and Hagen's get it, coming away with the steal. It's a two-on-one, and it's up and in for the Bulldogs, tying it up at two. Robertson looking for someone to pass it to. Very close to a five second call there. Kessler gets it across the midcourt line. Anderson, is that a steal? No, it's a jump ball. Sub entering the contest for the Rebels, it's Pizik. The five foot five sophomore. And the Rebels will inbound. That's Lagrid. Gets it into Pizik. Down, nice pass. Nice finish for the Rebels. And Anderson calls on the other end and ties it up at four. Robertson inbounding for the Rebels. Full court defense provided by the Bulldogs. And that's Pizik. Calling for the screen. Can't get it to Aulis who is rolling off the screen. Pizik left open. Robertson fakes, puts it up for two. It's off, and who's that out on? It's going to be out on the Rebels and the possession will go to the Bulldogs. Timeout by the Rebels. Just wanted to keep you updated on what's coming up later this week. Tomorrow night, the boys have a home game. We Home opener for the boys. We'd certainly love to see all of you here for tomorrow night's contest. If, you, if you're following the girls this year, they're away at Nicollet. So about a 40-minute drive to Nicollet. 
Maybe stop at the, the meat shop on the way if they're open at that hour. And then on the 21st, we have Medford, the 22nd, Tri-City United. That's a Tuesday, the Tuesday before Christmas. Tri-City United coming in. That is a makeup game from earlier this year when we had that snow that one night. <laughs> With this winter, if you might say what snow, but there was a night a couple weeks back when we had a, a good flurry come in. Hagen down low, blocked by Alice. Inside drive, gets it down, maybe forced it to Alice that time. Jump ball. And this time, yes, the, we'll go to the Bulldogs. Olsen across the center court line, that new Bulldog logo. Much talked about Bulldog logo. To Stanky, down low to Cords. Cords uh, saw Alice and thought better of it. Hagen. Out to Stanky, she's not going to pass that up. Oh, a little long. She doesn't miss those very often. Rebound, Robertson. 4-4. Four, four. About four and a half minutes into the first half. Aulis, a little off, gets her own rebound. Whoa, and it falls in for Aulis. You can't let her get hot. Olsen. Inside drive, it's off. Rebound, Alice. Almost like a daddy long leg spider with those arms. Blocked by Hagen. And Prunty wants the. Pr uh, the oh, good camera work there. Bulldogs come away with it. That stinky over to Hagen. Hagen loses control, and it will go to the Rebels. Robertson inbounds it. 13.03 left to go in this first half. So for that, we've been pretty good with the clock. Tight defense by Cords. Kirsten Lynch will enter momentarily for the Bulldogs. In, oh, you can't. <laughs> they rolled out the red carpet for Robertson on that one. Good inside drive to double. The Bulldogs' point total, 8-4, to four is our score. Early in the first half, Olsen to Stanky. Quick pass to Wolf. Stanky, I, I think that one might have been blocked. And it will, Cords with an alert move, saved it and threw it against the foot of Aulis, and that'll go back to the Bulldogs. So it must not have been tipped. Lynch enters the contest in favor of Hagen. She'll get a quick breather. Stanky inbounding for the Bulldogs. Into Lynch. To Wolf in the corner. She's not a three-point threat, so she'll look to pass. She gets it to Stanky. Into Olsen, who was calling for it. Nice clear maneuver by Cords. Olsen can't finish, though. Rebound Rebels. Lagrid. Gets it over to, that's Kessler. Nice move by Robertson. And the foul, basket counts. She'll head to the line for the three point play. Free throw up, it's in. 11-4 the score, 11.43 to go in the first half. Uh, tonight's one of those nights where we're fighting for elbow space at the booth. We have a, a radio station from Blue Earth covering the contest for the USC Rebels. And of course, we're here with the NFHS crew. Online, JWP. Uh, down low to Robertson, good athletic move to save it, and once again, fouled. She makes the basket and will head to the line for the three-point play. She's looking to, uh, you know, I know he's passed, but as Yogi Bear said, deja vu once again, all over again. And uh, we'll see what Robertson can do.
free throw up. It's off. Bulldogs get the rebound. Oh, and is that tipped? No, it will go to the Rebels. Robertson to inbound. Once again, that full court defense being used. Gets it into Aulis, back to Robertson. Ooh, almost a travel there. Nice inside drive. The floater on the bank is open. And that's a timeout called by Coach Prunty. She's seen enough. The bank was open. And we're going to go to our local sponsors at this time. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. All right, and we're back from the timeout. 10.56 to go in this first half. 15-4 Rebels with the lead. One of the, one of the, the best high school game I've ever seen was uh, in 2012-13 season when the girls of USC played the, the girls of JWP and USC I think had a 35 point lead in the first half or early second half and it ended up being a two point game. That was back uh, during uh, Taylor Paseo's first season here during his two year tenure with the team. And what a classic that was. A lot of people still talk about that game. And a five-second closely guarded is called. And that will certainly help the Bulldogs. Olsen with the ball. Coach Pasales coaching at uh, Columbia College in Missouri. And I, I read that they're off to a uh, quite a win streak. I think... Uh, it might be getting close to double digits, if not already there. So they have a good club. Haven't talked to Coach Vassell lately, but wish him the best if he's uh, if he's tuning in tonight. Alice, very mechanical with the shot, but it, it paid off. Also, oh, nobody's there, but good recovery by Hagen. Good camera work there to catch it. Gets it down low to Hay uh, not Hagen, but Anderson. Tipped away by Robertson, and it will stay with the Bulldogs. Hagen to inbound. 17-6 the score. Blocked by Aulis. And the, the Rebels are across center court. That's Klocek. Gets it to Kessler, down low to Robertson. Not again, oh, she'll go to the line for two still. That Robertson, she's very strong, good movement. Robertson a junior, so she's got one year of uh, eligibility left after this. Free throws up and in. Unfortunately for the Bulldogs, they've tripled our score. It's six to 18. Bulldogs uh, all is heading out to a good uh, ovation from the Rebel faithful here in attendance this evening. And the second free throw is also up and in for Robertson. 19-6 the score. 9-14 left to go in the first half. Olsen looking to set some up here over to Anderson. Anderson to Hagen. Hagen splits the defenders, but it's, it's off. Rebound Kessler. Kessler, I'm not sure if he's related to the head coach, Dale Kessler, but he might be. Good decision. That's a three-pointer. It's rims out. Uh, oh, that's going to be Rebel ball. Yep, it hit off the foot of Anderson. Lagrin will inbound for the Rebels. Once again, the boys are... Uh, I think the boys are over in US at well, in Wells tonight, playing at USC. So once again, a split crowd. Nice hard dribble by Robertson, and she knows what to do. She's not afraid at all. And it's 21-6. I, I thought Aulis was going to be the post that was going to cause the most difficulty for the Bulldogs, but no, it has been Robertson. Lynch. Oh... Doesn't hit anything on that one. Wolf will enter in favor of Lynch. And Robertson to inbound for the Rebels. 
And gets it in. That full court defense still being used. Oh, and it might, might have almost paid off there. That's Leah Johnson just entered the contest for the first time, number 14 for the Rebels. And it plops in. And we're up to a 17 point game right now, 23 to six. The floater banks out. Robertson, strong rebound again. She's up to about five or six for the night already. She's looking to get into, Leah Johnson thought about the three, passed up on it. To Robertson, Robertson to Johnson, Johnson coming down. The hook stolen away by Hagen. She has a fast break. Will she finish? Oh, can't finish the layup. Anderson rattles out. No one boxing out underneath, and Kessler gets it. And we're heading the other way. Tried to force it down low there. And that's Hagen heading the other way. Olsen, it's up and in. 23-8. 6 to go in the first half. I'm updating the clock right now. Passing it around are the Rebels, nice fake. And it falls in, you know. These shots have been falling for the Rebels. They don't look pretty, but you know, it's not a beauty contest. And they they leave it wide open for Olsen. The floater doesn't fall, no one's guarding her. I'm not sure what's going on, but it, Robertson gets the rebound, but a, she was hacked right away. I believe that's gonna be on cords. Um, that's the fourth team foul for the Bulldogs. And the foul was on Cords. that's her first. No foul so far for the Rebels, as you can see on your screen at this time. And that will be Aulis, who just returned. She will inbound for the Rebels. 6.06 to go in the first half. Pizik the dribble, Stanky providing the defense. Moving it around. Alice the screen, the fake. Alice, they can throw it up to her, but she's got those long arms. Oh, that was a yeah, that was a forced pass. Jump ball. Possession arrow favors the Rebels. Legrid will inbound for USC. United South Central out of Wells. USC, they are recipients of that beautiful new school. I think was uh, completed last year. I think last year was the first year they used it. I've heard from everybody that it's a big upgrade. I've been in there once. It looks very, it was very nice. And well, I'm not sure what's going on right now, but not a lot of defense being used by the Bulldogs. To Stanky. Nice pass to Cords. Might have been blocked. And that's Pizik. Fakes to Lagrid. Tight defense by the Bulldogs. That's Alice in unfamiliar territory up at the top of the key. Johnson can't find anybody. Good defense by the Bulldogs. I missed it. Kaylee Shook entered the contest for the Bulldogs. Rebound, Cords. Stanky. Nice drive, fake. Olsen, that'll be a three. It's in. No foul. There was a little bit of a tumble there. That might be what it takes to, to get the Bulldog faithful on their feet. A little bit of a reaction out of him when we uh, when the three was hit. Nice fake. Thought about it. As she's oh, she's fouled. 
And she'll head to the line for two. Fifth team foul on the Bulldogs. And that foul was on Wolf. That's her second. Free throw is up and in. Second one is up and in as well. 29-11 is our score. Wolf not happy about getting that second foul. Takes a seat on the bench. And here comes Olsen for the Bulldogs. To Hagen. Hagen fakes. Back to Olsen. Hagen, the set shot. Can't fall in. Rebound Robertson. That might be her eighth rebound of the first half. I might just start keeping track right now, assuming she's at eight. Tight defense, no foul called. And Johnson almost threw that one in the JWP student section. <laughs> Moving it around. Gets it down low to Robertson, she fakes. Fakes the three. The shot is up for Lagrid. It's off. And, yep, it's off on Robertson. It will go to the Bulldogs. Three oh four to go in this first half. Shook to Stanky. Ball entering your screen. That's the Olsen to Hagen. Down low to Shook. Shook blocked. I'm not sure if that was Lagrid or Alice, but it was uh, it was blocked nonetheless. Gets it to Alice. No one's going to get it up there. That ball might be seven feet in the air when she raises it up, if not more. And that's Pizik. Gets it to Lagrid. Slower tempo now by the Rebels. Nice roll by Robertson, and she puts it up with the left hand. That was nice. 20-point lead for the Rebels with 2.11 left to go in this first half. Shook in the corner. Shook to Hagen. Blocked by Alice. And, oh, down the court they go. Wild javelin toss doesn't work, and it will go to the Bulldogs. In to Olsen, 1.56 to go in this first half. And it's, it's off, rebound Bulldogs. Here come the Rebels. And she's open. Oh! To the other end, it's Anderson. Blo blocked by Alice again. <laughs> that might be her fifth block. It's tough when she's you know, she's six foot two, long arms, experienced. I referenced a game from 2012-2013 season. Alice was a part of that one, and Robertson again. Boy, she's. She's carving us up like Red a butcher shop down there. Cords to Anderson. Anderson to Olsen. Olsen the floater. It's off. Robertson, ninth rebound of the first half. We're at 42 seconds. Robertson will take it down herself. Picks up her dribble, gets it over to Johnson. Johnson to Pizik. 30 seconds. And it will be off on the Bulldogs. And I'm going to correct here. We got 26 seconds left. And Alice to inbound for the Rebels. And it's going to go back to the Rebels. Legrid inbounding. 23 and 7 tenths left. Screen is set. Johnson's open. That's a three-pointer. 
It's off. Oh, that's got to be over. Yeah, got to be over the back. And it's the first team foul for the Rebels with 20 seconds to go in the first half, kind of. And it's not because the refs haven't been calling them. I just haven't seen any. And they haven't either, obviously. And their opinion's a lot more important than mine. We're at 10 seconds to go. Oh, tripped. And now we're already up to two fouls now. In a matter of 12 seconds, they went from zero to two. Hagen will inbound for the Bulldogs underneath. Gets it into Olsen. Olsen for two. Off the front iron. Rebound, Lagrid. Three, two, one. No shot. And we will go into halftime with the United South Central Rebels, 33. The Janesville Waldorf Pemberton Bulldogs, 11. So, unfortunately for the Bulldogs, it's a 22-point contest. And a, they go in, and the score has been tripled. Now, I've already referenced it twice. Wasn't that long ago, 2012-2013 school year. It was a home game right here. It was about a 30, I think it got up to about a 32, 33 point game. And the Bulldogs came back and it, they only ended up losing by two. They scored about 27 points and I swear about four minutes, five minutes, steal after steal after steal. Olsen, who's on the court tonight, was a part of that, as was Anderson. So don't count the Bulldogs out yet, but... Anyway, while we're at halftime, we're going to go to our local sponsors. we got about nine minutes to go uh, until the start of the second half, so don't go anywhere. Well, maybe now is the time to go somewhere. Uh, go to the bathroom, get a drink, whatever you need, grab the popcorn. We'll be back in about nine minutes. And we're back. Second half action uh, on its way in about one minute. 33-11 the score in favor of the Rebels of United South Central. We'll have to see what happens and what changes were made in the, at the talk at the locker room. So hopefully for the Bulldogs, something changes because that first, uh, that first half was bowling shoe ugly, as they say. But I'd say Robertson probably a rebound away from a double-double already. She's coming out of the very confident, so we'll see what happens. But Bulldogs are going to have to do something here. Hagen will inbound. Fresh 18 on the clock. And here we go. Anderson with the ball. Gets it down low to Olsen. Olsen back to Anderson. Answer it. There it is. Oh, and it's off. Rebound Morton. Hagen. Can't get it, and there it is. That's the 10th rebound of the contest for Robertson already. Down low, and it's uh, off the foot of Morton, I believe, and it will stay with the Rebels of United South Central. Oh, they left Alice wide open, and she'll take advantage of that every single time. 35-11 is our score. That's a two. Now well, it doesn't matter if it was a three, it's off. Klocek. Oh my, wide open is Lagrid. And it, the United South Central Rebels certainly using their size advantage tonight. It's been, uh, it's looked rather easy at times for him. Oh, 
Olsen thought about it, she'll fake. Puts it up, it falls. And there they go. Baseline draw, oh, that has to be out of bounds. Oh, I, I thought Klocek went out of bounds, but no, she threw it off the foot of Wolf and it'll stay with the Rebels. Whoop, her camera's going up to the ceiling. We've seen that before, nice move to Robertson. That's a three-pointer for Lagrid. It's off, and it's, yeah, it's Bulldog ball. They're going the other way, it's Olsen. Nice pass to Anderson, blocked by Klocek. And the United South, uh, United South Central fans are quite pleased with the effort so far by their team, as they should be. Wolf with the ball. And there it is. Good shot by Anderson. You know, a couple weeks ago I was looking at high school names in the state of Minnesota. There's a United North Central as well, but I have no idea where it is, but it's somewhere in the state. And it's out. It's off. And that's going to stay with the can't. Can't secure the rebound, but can Olsen, so it'll go back to the bull, uh, the Rebels, excuse me. You know, I know United South Central, it's located in Wells, Minnesota. I couldn't tell you any of the other smaller communities that make up United South Central, but I'm sure there are many. It's off. And Morton can't handle it. Oh, that's got to be a travel, and it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know why it's not called Wells High School, but uh, I'm sure there are some other communities that make up United South Central other than just Wells. Stolen, oh, hey, and almost a football tackle there by Morton. At this point, I don't know how many people would blame her if she attempted it. Lagrid comes away with the ball, and that's Klocek. Klocek out. Kessler down low to Robertson. Robertson uses that muscle, and she has very good footwork and very good poise and positioning, and she puts it in again for two. She's a very good ball player. Very good athlete. I mentioned her softball prowess earlier in the game as well. Wolf with the ball. And it's off, the shot by Olsen. Morton way off the mark and it's gonna go to the Rebels. 39-15 our score. 14-35 to go in this second half. Klocek down the court to Legrid. Legrid can't handle it, Bulldog basketball. Out to Hagen. Hagen to Wolf. And we got a call. What's the call? Hagen will inbound for the for the Bulldogs. Gets it into Wolf. Wolf tries to force it down low to Cords. Cords and a foul on the floor. Hagen finds Olsen in the corner. Olsen thought about it, still thinking about it, passed up on it. Gets it to Anderson. Anderson to Hagen. Hagen for two, way off. And it's. Uh, Going to be a foul on Hagen. That will be the Bulldogs' first of the half. That's uh, Hagen's second foul of the contest. 13.55 to go for second half. 39 to 15, our score. Cords went for the quick steal, couldn't get it. Robertson coming down the court. Wolf providing the defense. 
Dribbling in is Klocek. Tipped out. It's going to stay with the Rebels. Klocek looking for the foul on that one. Not the case. Stanky entering the contest in favor of Anderson for the Janesville Waldorf Pemberton Bulldogs. Kessler to inbound. Finds Klocek. That's a is that a three? No, that's a two. Didn't matter. It's off. Blocked by Hagen. Alice gets the rebound. The weak pass goes to Klocek. Klocek floats it up. It's way off the mark. Rebels come away with it again. To Robertson. And that's Klocek. Back down drive. Nobody open. Gets it to Alice. Slow down maneuver. And it's stolen away by Stanky. It's a two on two. Nice pass to Cords. And Cords finishes strong on the other end. Good move. Klocek. Slowing down the tempo right now with 12.46 to go in the second half. 22 point ball game. Rebels have not scored in a while. And yeah, that's almost, what do you do about that? Alice, too, too tall. She has about a five inch advantage on cords and I, I coached cords a few years. She's a tall girl. Down low, cords. Eh, stolen away by Klocek. Triple team defense used by the Rebels. Down the court, Lagrid. And Robertson with the drive. 43 17 Rebels. And you know, these Rebels, they fought hard against the Waterville Elysian Morristown. They took Blue Earth to the. Uh, to the uh, the edge, they beat Mountain Lake, so they're a tough team. Hagen to court. Nope, it's gonna. Ooh, they're gonna say Bulldog basketball. I thought it was out on cords. Not the case. Robertson is the one it was out on. Uh, new subs entering the contest for the Rebels. Uh, number 24, the senior Catherine Corey, five foot eight. Why you know why wouldn't she be a, a tall girl? She's she enters the contest for the first time. These Rebels are so tall. Hagen will inbound. Budak in the contest for the first time for the Bulldogs. Olsen might have been tipped by Robertson. I'm not sure. Oh, Corey the rebound. Klocek going the other way for the Rebels. Klocek doesn't fall. And there's a tussle for it. Jump ball favors the Rebels. Lagrid to inbound for the USC Rebels. To Corey. Corey can't handle it. Stolen away by Stanky. Stanky heading the other way with the Bulldogs. Oh, stolen away by Robertson. One on one against Hagen. A little hard off the glass was Robertson. And now it's Olsen. And the switched hands in midair drew the foul. Basket's good. She'll go to the line for the old fashioned three point play. 10.43 to go in this second half. 43 to 20. Rebels in the lead. Klocek, Stanky providing the defense. To Lagrid. Coach Prunny, you probably heard it at, at home, calling for pressure. Wanting her players to play with a little more urgency. Oh, how did she? I can't. No, yeah, I was going to say, she no way could she do that. A reverse left-handed layup, but good athletic move to save it for Robertson. Floater is up and off. Rebound, Corey to Klocek.
And the shot is in for Klocek. Back up to a 25 point contest. Olsen to Budak. Olsen, nice bank shot. Crossover dribble by Robertson. Gets it to Klocek. Coach Prunny calling for pressure yet. Gonna make one last one last move to try to get back in this one are the Bulldogs. And Corey runs into and somehow she comes out of it. Rebound. Stanky, and then it's flipped over to, to Olsen. 8.45 to go. The floater is up. It's off. Big rebound by Robertson, strong rebound. Really made sure to secure that one. Over to Legrid. Uses Robertson's screen. Back to Corey. Corey to Klocek, Stakey providing the defense. Big screen by Corey. Klocek inside drive. And oh, it's out. Goes to the Bulldogs. 8.09 to go. Multiple subs entering for both squads. Lynch and Anderson for the Bulldogs. And Alice and Kessler for the Rebels. Also, Pizik entering the contest again for the Rebels. Budak puts it in for two. Nice shot. Oh, good screen there by Pizik. Legra to Alice. Whoa, Legra. Wounded duck type shot. Nothing to Anderson. Anderson drives in. Out to Olsen. Olsen for three. It's in. And uh, that... A little life coming back here, down to an 18 point game. They've already outscored their first half performance by 16 and we have 7.13 to go. Prunny calling for more pressure. They're gonna need it. Pislik. It's off, there, hey, another stop. Here come the Bulldogs. Anderson for two, it's off. On the floor, Cords the rebound. Budak, down low to Cords. Budak for two, it's off. Alice too tall for that rebound. Uh-oh, we can't leave her open. These posts know how to maneuver for the Rebels. Hagen will enter the contest for the Bulldogs momentarily. 6.09 to go in the second half. Out to Anderson. Anderson, the floater, it's up and in. Back to 18. Pressure defense by the Bulldogs. Swatting away at it, stolen away. And here come the Bulldogs. Anderson, it's in, down to a 16 point game. Don't count them out yet. They're on a run, the momentum with the Bulldogs. Wait, oh, timeout, USC in. Coach Prunny is happy with the recent effort by our Bulldogs. Tomorrow night, home opener for the boys here at the Doghouse. We'd love it for you to join us, or if you're not going to join us for that one, certainly uh, tomorrow go to, to uh, Nicollet tomorrow night. The girls, 
away at Nicollet, 7.30 tip time. The uh, NFHS broadcast will be with the boys, but uh, so certainly be here live for tomorrow night's boys game. Go to Nicollet or watch it on uh, NFHS, the, bo the boys game. So the only way to see the girls game tomorrow is to actually go to Nicollet. And then on December 21st at Medford, that's an early start time, 7.15. And then we have the 22nd, and that is a game against Tri-City United, the old Montgomery Lonsdale Center. That is a rescheduled game from uh, the, when we had that snow that one night. So that's coming up before the Christmas holiday. Bulldogs coming out of the timeout, looking to, to continue the momentum. Five twenty-two to play. Is there enough time? I don't know. Robertson with the ball to Klocek. Klocek the drive. It's off. They're going to have to rebound if they're going to get back into it. And it gets to Hagen. Hagen to Budak. Budak back to Olsen. Olsen for two. Might have been blocked. Roberts in the board. Klocek with the ball. Out to Lagrid. To Alice. For three, and that, that might be the, uh, that might be the final nail. We'll see. We don't want to count them out yet. Olsen for three. She'll call on the other end. It's off. Good, tough rebound by the five foot one Anderson. Olsen floats it. Hits off the rim, and it will go to the Rebels. 420 to play Rebels ball. to Alice, Alice back to Robertson. Budak providing the defense. Strong dribble by Robertson. Nice roll by Alice. Premature jump by Cords, but what do you do? That's a tough matchup for the sophomore. Alice, the senior, takes advantage of it. To Anderson. To Budak, Budak down low. Anderson thought about it. Hagen's open. She'll take that three. Out. Robertson about her 15th rebound of the contest. Down court, and nobody's paying attention. And <laughs> it's going to go to the Bulldogs. Nobody was playing defense, but then again, nobody was playing offense either. So it really is a, a wash, and we'll, we'll go back to the Bulldogs. Thought about the three. Anderson will take it. They counted as a two, had a foot on the line, I thought so. 52-33 the score. To Robertson. Robertson fakes and she'll take it herself. To Alice, down low. Lagrid's wide open, she puts it in for two. Back up to a 21 point contest. Morton will enter for the Bulldogs next dead ball. Hagen, it's stolen away. I'd like to say hello to John and Annette in Lakeville. They're watching another NFHS broadcast. They don't miss any of them. Down to Robertson. It's off. Rebound, Budak. And that's Hagen. No one stops ball. Oh! Alice almost pierced the ball through the wall on that one. Hagen went in with a uh, finger roll type maneuver, and Alice uh, said, "I'm not. I don't think that's going to work on me." It's about her sixth block of the contest. Nice drive, and Olsen doesn't fall. And Kessler goes all the way, and timeout is called by the Rebels. And we're back. Rebels with the ball. That's Lagrid up at the top. 
The Rebels looking to just cut down clock right now. Not a lot of movement on either side. And then Rekhi just keep doing the same thing. And they've already wasted a lot of time. I'm, I'm watching what they're doing. They just got the four bunched up. And they're just going to keep doing this. Stolen away. That ends that. Awkward shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Olsen landed awkwardly. She's walking. Thank heavens. She'll get an applause. That you never like that when they when they're on the drive and they stop because you think of the worst. You think of an ACL, you think of an LCL, you think of an MCL. Timeout Bulldogs. One twenty seven to play. I hope I hope Olsen's okay. I'm looking over and Coach Cunningham's consoling her right now. She's in pain, but it, it appears to be manageable, which is good news for the Bulldogs and their fans. It hasn't gone the way we hoped it would tonight, if you're a Bulldog fan, but they'll fight to the end. Tomorrow night, uh, junior high, 7th and 8th grade, where we play USC tomorrow night. So hopefully for the junior high, we can come away with a couple victories tomorrow. But obviously this is the most important game. Number three, Cherish Strait. The five foot eight junior has entered for the first time for the Rebels. Nice putback. If it's not in, it's going to stay with the Bulldogs. Other than that, everybody on the court for the, the Rebels has appeared in the game. There's only a few left that have not seen any playing time. Foul is called. That's going to be on the uh, before mentioned straight. That's her first, obviously. Hagan to inbound. Morton, not really a real threat from the outside. Hagen puts it up, it's off. Morton, that's where she's good, and that's where she she is successful. Rebound and put back. 105 to go. And I'm not sure if that was an intentional foul or not, but with 19 points and a minute and four to go, I don't know if that's uh oh. Down court. Lagrid. And another intentional foul by the Bulldogs. Less than a minute to go, a 19 point game. I don't know if uh, maybe a player, there might be some miscommunication right now. But yeah, that's another foul. So they appear to be doing, uh, to fouling intentionally. The bench is clearing for the Bulldogs, so. Uh, Emma Eustace, number 24, entering the contest for the first time. Shook making her second appearance. And for the Rebels, Leah Johnson re-enters the contest in favor of Lagrid. 55 seconds to go. Pizek with the ball. Lynch providing the defense. Johnson... Shook providing tight defense to Corey. And we're getting down to the, the final little bit here. Lynch going for the steal. And nope, it's going to stay with the Rebels. Number 15, Lizzie Baird entering the contest for the Rebels. The 5'8 freshman. 
makes her first appearance. The Rebels get it in. And it's going to stay with the Rebels. 20 seconds to go. Strite to throw it in and gets it into Baird. Tight defense, and that's going to be a foul on Eustace, I believe, number 24. It is. That's her first team fifth of the half. Stolen away by Budak. Gets it to Lynch. Try to force it to Budak. Cords the rebound, and now it's a big scrum for it. And the clock will end, and that will end our game. The final score of tonight's contest. The United South Central Rebels 54, the Janesville Waldorf Pemberton Bulldogs 35. It was a better showing in the second half for the Bulldogs. In fact, they did win the second half 24-19. But unfortunately, it's two, it takes two halves to create a victory, and that did not happen tonight. So the Bulldogs will fall to 2-4 and four on the season, and the Rebels will climb to 3-2. and two. Don't forget, tomorrow night, the home opener for the boys. We'll see you tomorrow night here at 7.30 for tip time. If you're following the girls, they're at Nicollet tomorrow night. Either way, it's guaranteed to be great Bulldog basketball action. Please tune in either on the NFHS broadcast, be here live, or go to Nicollet tomorrow night. That's for all your basketball needs. Once again, this has been Jay Semry with another NFHS broadcast wishing you a great Monday night. We'll see you here tomorrow night for the boys. Take care.